To find the maximum value of a function, you can solve it in two ways. You can do the first way of looking at a graph and then trying to find a peak. Or you can do it another way, which is algebraically by finding dy dx and equating dy dx to zero. This is because dy dx gives you the gradient function. So the gradient function gives you the gradient at some point along the graph. And what zero gradient means is that it's completely flat and this is where the peak occurs because at the peak the gradient is zero. So if we find dy dx of this equation, we get dy dx equals to negative 10x plus the derivative of 4x is 4. So now you want to equate this dy dx to 0. So we have negative 10x plus 4 equals to 0. So if you rearrange this, you get negative 10x equals to negative 4. Therefore, x equals to 4 and 10, which is the same as 2 fifths. So what this tells us is that the maximum value occurs at 2 fifths. So if we were to graph this, it would be here, 2 fifths. And now to find the maximum value, we substitute x equals to 2 fifths back into the function. So we have y equals to negative 5 times 2 fifths squared plus 4 times 2 fifths minus 1. So what is this? Minus 5 plus 4 times 2 is 8 on 5 minus 1. So actually if you solve this whole problem here, it would equal to negative 1 fifths.